Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're gonna go through Resorts World. If you don't know where Resorts World, it's built on where the old Stardust used to be in uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. Just past uh, Encore. And it's right next to Circus Circus. But uh, I decided to do another walkthrough just to see if anything's new here. I know they had some catching up to do with some new construction with their mall area and stuff like that. So I'm going to peruse around and see if uh, I can find anything. So come join me. Uh, I'll be walking in with a silly mask on because the mask mandates are back up. There's a sign when you walk in. It tells you just that. So, there is an upstairs to the mall area. There's supposed to be a Beverly Hills pizza place going in, a pizzeria. Not sure if that's done yet. Who knows? But there are some trendy little clubs you can uh, check out on the front end here. It's right next to their pool party area. So, it's really convenient when people pile on out and they can go to either a pizzeria or just go to a club hang out have some drinks all that neat stuff but hey we're gonna go through and uh check out some stuff i think they had a special event here not sure red tails part of their club thing going on this is a more of like a sports bar relaxing kind of thing i'm sure they're gonna get you for table service and uh, bottle service and all that stuff so i'm sure it's kind of pricey when the uh, evening comes around but they got some games in there which is nice you can toy around do some uh, arcade games definitely marketing to that crowd and the ball of wonder here which is a digital ball this is going to be sort of kind of what madison square garden sphere is going to be like that project is uh, looking pretty good wally's steakhouse if you're hungry for steak you go here and uh, it's right next to the Ball of Wonder. But yeah, you can watch them prepare steaks and all kinds of food. There's a window and all that stuff so you can see the chefs preparing uh, the meals and whatever else is going on there. And there's an outdoor patio. So you can dine inside or you can dine outside and kind of get some fresh air while you're there. Saw this crystal shop. I thought that was kind of cool. They had some neat little ornate crystal figurines and I thought it was kind of cool I don't even know the name of this shop I'm not sure if it's Swarovski's crystals I'm not sure I didn't get I didn't catch it I just those just caught my eye and I'm like oh I better record this stuff but anyways that's uh Gatsby's it's kind of like an open air um nightclub like a cocktail lounge but it gets real rowdy when people are there so I think it's kind of like, hey, look at us. We're partying at Gatsby's. Uh, you do got to get a table service. There is a promoter and all that stuff there. So you got to be invited to go to that stuff. Viva. Nice Mexican restaurant here. I haven't eaten here yet, but I guess it's really good. Good reviews on this one. <clears throat> Viva. Looks pretty trendy, pretty comfortable. It's kind of like a diner slash um, cabana Mexican place inside. And it looks pretty cool. Cigar bar right next door to it's going to go in. So if you guys uh, fancy the cigars and all that cool stuff, that will be open soon. And of course, my car. Always park it right here in case you're wondering. Uh, they did a nice job parking my car. That's where it stays sun's out buns out this is a cool breakfast place a lot of people are like where do you get breakfast besides denny's and blah 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 you go to sun's out buns out and they it's really nice here um there's a menu that'll pop up too in just a second but uh yeah you can watch them cook your food whether it be a a haystack of eggs or egg mcmuffin type stuff um, they, they do all kinds of neat little snacks for you it seems like a decent breakfast, like avocado toast, and if you want to stay on the healthy side. Um, and it's not that bad. It's not too pricey. It's not out of the range of, like, too expensive. thought this little thing was kind of cool. 
You can get merchandise there too. Suns Out Buns Out merch. Kind of funny. Anyways, nice little place. They got little cracked eggs you could sit in, like these chairs. Or just sit at a, a bar table. I thought it was kind of cool. So you have to... They want you to stay fabulous here. And watch the fish as the fish bowl goes around. But the sneaker garden is pretty cool. If you guys like fancy sneakers and uh, all the expensive. These are like $350 and above. So it's not that expensive as far as out of the reach. Because I know some of these things can range into the thousands of dollars. I'm sure they have them. I just don't know where they're at. Probably have to ask for limited edition stuff. But all these sneakers were pretty expensive, you know. More than $100, put it that way. They do have a selfie station for Raider Nation or if you're a Raiders fan, you want to get a nice uh, selfie. This thing will light up at night, so they turn it on and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. If you're a fan, Raiders are 2-0 so far, so that's kind of cool. Maybe they'll have a winning season. Upstairs here, there's an upstairs and a downstairs Starbucks. So you got to go through the casino to get the other one, but this one's upstairs. It's very nice and spacious. And everybody's pretty friendly there. They said hello. And uh, this is kind of the view of the upstairs mezzanine. And the ball of wonder over there as well. And back downstairs. But uh, yeah, I didn't see too a whole lot of stuff opening up here just yet. But they have some stuff, projects going on with the boarded up storefronts and all that. Those will soon be filled. But once they do... I'll show you guys what's going on with the cigar place, the new eateries. There's another steakhouse that's going to open up, Carver's, I believe it is. And that's pretty much it. Thanks to the members. Uh, we're rolling the credits for all you guys that support this channel. Thank you very much. I'd like to read everything, but it's right there for you. Uh, thank you very much for your support. That's awesome. If you're looking to support more, there's links in the bottom of the page for that. We'll do more walkthroughs and really neat stuff in Las Vegas. But thank you anyway. You guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.